Marilyn Manson wrote his third album, Antichrist Superstar, to the top of the charts, becoming one of the music industry's most controversial stars. There's no shortage of urban myths about this guy, but we've separated fact from fiction to bring you the untold truth of Marilyn Manson. In the late 90s, the name Marilyn Manson became inextricably tied to the Columbine High School shooting. On April 20th, 1999, 18-year-old Eric Harris and 17-year-old Dylan Klebold walked into their school armed with guns. By the time they were done, 15 people were killed, including the shooters, and 30 more were injured. The massacre shocked and saddened the world, and Manson quickly came to represent everything wrong with pop culture. According to some religious groups and even some media outlets, Manson's music had somehow encouraged Harris and Klebold to shoot up their school. And the worst advantage you can take of an angry, disconnected youth is to write and sing lyrics which fuels their desperation and anger. Due to the controversy, Manson was forced to cancel several tour dates, and many of the shows he did play were picketed. But in the years since the massacre, we've learned that Marilyn Manson actually had no discernible effect on the shooters' lives. According to Dave Cullen's exhaustive investigative book Columbine, Harris and Klebold weren't remotely obsessed with Marilyn Manson. In fact, there's no evidence that they even listened to his music. In reality, Harris and Klebold were obsessed with German industrial bands like KMFDM. In the wake of the tragedy, Manson became a scapegoat and an easy target for people's outrage. Rage. Why you in Columbine? Because I happened to have a song in The Matrix had just come out, and they're shooting, and I had a video on TV called Rock is Dead. In 1996, Marilyn Manson shocked mainstream America with Antichrist Superstar's anti-Christian messages and themes. When the follow-up Mechanical Animals was released in 1998, the album cover featured Manson wearing a latex suit that made him look like an androgynous alien. Because of the album cover, Walmart, Target, and Kmart all refused to sell the album. However, the cover imagery is exceedingly tame, especially when compared to Manson's early live shows. Remember in 1995 when Manson was on the Phil Donahue show to discuss the supposed dangers of moshing? I think that moshing is a, is a sign of uh, what Christians would call uh, the apocalypse. Well, that's not even the half of it. In his 1998 autobiography, The Long Hard Road Out of Hell, Manson reveals that the band's early stage shows featured an actress made to look pregnant who would iron a Nazi flag on stage. He wrote, As the show progressed, she sat spread-eagled on the ironing board and pretended to perform an abortion on herself. We imagine that ruffled plenty of feathers. Marilyn Manson is no stranger to alcohol, and he evidently found his preferred poison on New Year's Eve in 1999. That's when he discovered absinthe, the intensely strong, aniseed-flavored liquor. It quickly became his drink of choice. At the time, Manson reportedly thought that the world was coming to an end because of Y2K, so he headed off to the south of France with his friend Johnny Depp, as one does. You know what? He looks sad there. You know, why is that sad? Because he's not with me right now. He claims they went around Prague and bought every case of absinthe they could find. Clearly, he's pretty obsessed with the stuff. Drink absinthe, but just drink it in high velocity as much as you can and just drink it. In 2007, Manson released his own brand of absinthe, inevitably called Mansynth. But by 2015, he was claiming he had to cool it with the stuff. He said absinthe makes people poor and crazy, but he didn't quit drinking. He told Reuters in 2015, I just switched to marijuana and vodka. Yeah, that's sober for me. Manson is the first to admit he's a weird guy, so it shouldn't come as a surprise that he collects some rather strange objects. In fact, he reportedly owns a painting by serial killer John Wayne Gacy and the skeleton of a four-year-old girl. And there are rumors that he owns even more controversial items, at least according to a lawsuit from former bandmate Madonna Wayne Gacy. Madonna Wayne Gacy joining us. Hello. As MTV reported in 2007, Gacy's lawsuit against Manson alleged he owns a collection of SS typewriters, swastika wall tiles, and Nazi government coat hangers formerly owned by Adolf Hitler. The lawsuit also claimed that Manson owned African masks made out of human skin. It's important to note that Manson adamantly denied owning the Nazi memorabilia, and there's no evidence that he does. As for the skin masks, who knows? Growing up, Manson said his mother hovered over him quite a bit. Originally, he thought it was just because he was often sick and in the hospital. He said he thought he'd contracted pneumonia six times throughout his childhood and believed he was allergic to eggs and fabric softener, among other things. It was only years later that Manson found out he was never really sick and his mother suffered from Munchausen by proxy syndrome. This is a form of abuse in which a caregiver, in this case Manson's mother, makes up or causes an illness for someone in their care. Manson doesn't discuss the subject often. In fact, 
it never comes up in his autobiography. But in 2015, he did tell Rolling Stone, I didn't find out about the Munchausen until later in life, and I'm not sure how far back she had it. What I can say is that mental illness runs in the family. That's not to say he vilifies his mom. When she passed away in 2014 at the age of 68, he wrote a heartfelt tribute to her. To my mother, the first and greatest believer in me. I hope I see you again someday. But not now, because I have more things I promised I would do. I'll make you proud and satisfied that you know you made the son you wanted. Check out one of our newest videos right here. Plus, even more grunge videos about your favorite musicians are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.